Yes, yes, people. Welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV and welcome back to St. James's Park. The season must be fast approaching because we are now back at the beautiful backdrop right there of the best stadium in the world. Now, this is a spot that me and Keg for many years done the old PR ratings, match reactions and stuff. We do come up here occasionally, do a lot of work up here with Sky Sports as well, with Keith Downey and whatnot. But today, a day before the pre-season starts, I thought I'd come back here. It's a shame the sun isn't shining, but at least it is not raining for now. Hope everyone's having a great Friday and looking forward to the weekend. I certainly am. Certainly I'm looking forward to getting back to seeing the tomb play. Yes, yes, 12.30 tomorrow for that kickoff. Not here, unfortunately it isn't here. But fortunately, it is very close. The closest to E-Day possible, I'd imagine. Gateshead Stadium, the running track. 11,000 on the Metro. Class. Loving, loving it. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, it's been getting as excited now, now that the big boys are back. The big boys are back in tune, yeah? The main men have arrived, all right? And the main man himself has arrived. The most expensive Italian ever is touched down. Back in tune, he was here yesterday, enjoying himself on the quayside. Went out for a nice little meal there. Took a picture with a fan, pretty much smiling. But look at how much he is smiling being at the training ground today, being at the Benton base. You know, the refurbished Benton training ground. Thankfully, it is refurbished because <laughs> imagine the press picking up on that, you know, not just the gym, but the outside of it and everything else if it hadn't just been done up. Tonali's in for a treat. Well, this time last year, and this time for forever, it was a range at all. So he's considering himself lucky with the way it is at the minute. It's looking nice at the minute now that the new owners have pumped in nearly a couple of million pounds to the Benton training ground. So Tonali has arrived. He has trained today for the first time with his Newcastle United teammates. Hopefully the club put out some behind the scenes stuff for that. We've seen snippets of him arriving today. Um, and you know, he's got straight to work. He's obviously been given a couple of days off with his missus there after a busy summer for Italy under 21s at the Euros. But now he's back and uh, buzzing. Can't wait to see how he got on at the training ground, if, if the club do release some footage. And more importantly, will we see how he gets on tomorrow at Gateshead Stadium? You know, 11,000 fans going to be there. You can stream the game as well for 9 99 All proceeds do go to Gateshead FC. Will he make his debut tomorrow? I mean, I'd be very surprised if he started, Sandra Tonali. I'd be very, very surprised if he started, considering how you're going to play him. You know, he hasn't had any time other than a couple of hours today to work with Eddie Howe in that midfield of his, you know, to get suited and booted next to Bruno Guimaraes. I mean, what a midfield this is going to be. Absolutely sensational. And those were back today as well, by the way. The Brazilian boyos were back today. Samba style uh, in Newcastle's training this morning. Julian on and Bruno. So they're there. So everyone's there, ready to go. But I just can't see Tonali stop. Well, maybe he may just chuck him in. You know, it's Gateshead. It's not like he's going to get chucked in against serious opposition. You know, hopefully Gateshead are treating this as, as, as a friendly and not a derby with how close we are because we don't want any injuries heading into this Champions League campaign alright we definitely don't want Tonali all this money splashed and uh, he gets a naughty injury at the start that would be stinking so hopefully uh, we do see a bit of Tonali like I said I don't think he'll start but potentially could get a good 10 20 minute run out you know a nice little round of applause for the fans a nice big welcome to him get the songs going for him get his chant on the go do you know what I mean so that would be class I mean, they, they might not want to embarrass Gator though because this bloke it's far too good to be on the pitch against Gateshead. I know it's obviously only a friendly and big up Gateshead, you know, respect to them and everything, but they'd be playing anybody but a top four team is a disrespect to Tonali, I would say. So I can't wait to see him. Hopefully we do get a little teaser of him, but I'm sure in a couple of weeks' time here at St. James Park for the Cellar Cup, we will see him across that weekend, the 5th and 6th of August. And yeah, so Tonali arrived today. you obviously seen Callum Wilson as well, who had, uh, you know, a bit of a busy summer at the start with England for the, for the qualifiers for next year's Euros. He obviously scored a a goal for England uh, a month or so ago there. And then we're seeing, obviously, the European champion himself, Anthony Gordon, return to Newcastle United's training today as well. Our European champ there with some questionable clothes, I must say, Anthony, all right? Bit dodgy, that wardrobe. But the skills weren't dodgy on the pitch was the most important thing. And, uh, you know, obviously smashed it at the Euros, winning that player of the tournament. And, uh, you know, playing in that false nine role for England. So will we see him maybe adapt that at Gateshead tomorrow if he gets a chance? Would, would we see Gordon in that striker role? Will we see him feature like that for Freddie Howe's side and that system next season be an interesting one one to definitely keep an eye on we like that versatility where they can play as the 8 as a winger and as a false name as we've seen for the three lines so Gordon's back Wilson's back Bruno Jolinton's back Tonali the main man is back and uh, there's plenty more all the big shotters all the big guns have arrived at the training ground today they are ready for the season it's came round quick I've got to say it has came round quick 
this new campaign. The preseason starts tomorrow. Gates set tomorrow, Saturday the 15th, 12.30 kickoff. Rangers Tuesday at the Ibrox. I think that's a 7.30 kickoff. And then obviously the week after, they travel to the USA for three games in a week before the Seller Cup here. And then Aston Villa at home. Yeah, the Premier League campaign starts at St. James's as well. So it's a big one. There's a lot going on. And obviously, even though the games are now starting, the questions are turning to who's next in the transfer window now that we know Tonali's in, in the bag, it's done, he's here, he's trading, he, he could be playing tomorrow. Who's next? Because fans are getting impatient. Fans are getting a bit worried. It doesn't take much, like, I don't know why people are worrying. There's absolutely ages left of the transfer window. We're only in the middle of the July. The transfer window doesn't close till the 1st of September, so I don't know what we're worrying about. I'm certainly not. And Pete Graves isn't either. He's put this out on Sky Sports and on his Twitter page last night, you know, saying, do not worry. No need to panic. Tonali's done one major signing and there will be others. So he has reaffirmed that Newcastle United will be making more major signings this summer. So it's not like the money's gone, as we've heard from other reports this summer, and only 75 million to spend, 55 is well on Tonali. We're skint, there's an out left. Load of crap. We will be making more major signings this summer, confirms Pete Graves at Sky. And, uh, you know, it just, it's just about being patient, about holding tight. You know, we've got to try and get rid of some of the deadwood that's still lingering at the club. You know, Hayden, Hendrick, Fraser. He's just on a madness. Fraser, he hasn't even pictured anywhere. No one knows where he is. Wee man travelling. Travelling the world. Wee man. Doing what he wants. You know, there's just things that we need to get rid of. And obviously, we're being patient with signings and trying to get the right deals done. Obviously, still talks ongoing with Harvey Barnes, Livermento, um, Chiesa, perhaps. So, you know, there's work being done in the background. Do not fear. There will be more major signings coming this summer. However, there might not be as many as some people hope. You know, Pete has said that this is not a rebuild this summer. It's not the case of shipping loads of players out and bringing loads of players in. You know, we will still sign, I'd imagine, four or five players. Is one of those going to be counting as one of the loan deals that we've done? But, you know, do not worry about it. We will be still making some big signings this summer at St. James's. There will still be some major incomings. I see a lot of people fretting today because Moussa Diaby looks like he could be going to Aston Villa, you know. They put in a shy bid of like 30 odd million, um, but they're going to up it and buy Leverkusen or willing to sell. And Moussa Diaby wants to move to the Premier League and obviously a long term target of Newcastle United is Moussa Diaby. But right now, he's, we're not going for him. Is it because of his defensive capabilities? Is he, Eddie Howe doesn't, like, doesn't think he's, he's completely right for the system, but Harvey Barnes is. That cloud looks like it's definitely going to start pissing down on me any second, so I'll wrap this up. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm surprised we're not going in for Moussa Diaby at that money. If we can get him for 30, 40 million on the right hand side, but obviously his stats are very good offensively, but defensively they're not. So maybe that's why we are leaning away from Moussa Diaby. And if he goes to Villa, oh man, Villa are really strengthening. Like and with Unai Emery in European football, they're going to be a threat. So I wouldn't mind stealing Diaby under the noses of Aston Villa, but trust the process, trust in Eddie Howe and Ashraf that. If we target Harvey Barnes instead or we target Chiesa instead, I think they know what they're doing. We've done all right so far, haven't we? Bringing in the likes of Botman, Bruno, Isaac and Tonali, to name a few. Trippier and the rest of them as well. I trust them. I think they know what they're doing, so I won't panic if we don't. So in for Diaby, but I would like to see it. Anyways, people, before this rain starts soaking me, I will round this one up. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. Stay tuned to the Mike White Channel TV. There will be loads of videos coming your way from the Gateshead Stadium tomorrow as me and Keg will be at the big game, the first pre-season friendly of this year's campaign. Nice one, everyone. Like this one, subscribe, and enjoy yourself.